Hello traders, I hope you're doing good. So in today's video, I'm talking everything about the new instant funding that Fiverr's launched on 5th of March. So before I start, I just want to say that the old instant funding that I am trading right now, as the program, it is not available anymore. So we can only now choose to trade within the new, new instant funding and there's new roles, the fees has changed, the leverage. I'm just going to walk you through everything that has changed. I know some of you are a little bit upset because there's no more old instant funding available. Hopefully once I walk you through this new program I hope you will change your mind and you will see the potential in this program because the Fivers did try I see that they did try to change it because so many traders just asked for bigger profit splits and uh, bigger leverage so they tried to deliver and I will just go through the rules and hopefully it's going to make more sense uh, why the changes were made so let's go and talk about them let's go as if you can go with me, right? <laughs> but anyhow, I'm going to talk about them. And if you want to listen, then you can sit down and hopefully it helps. So the first and most important thing, at least I think, is the fee. Because as a trader, as we go into the prop firms and we just want to see what we can afford within our budget. So every single trader has a budget, right? So let's look at what you can get from the instant funding. So yes, I do have notes because I cannot remember all the numbers. So if you see me looking down because I'm looking at the numbers. <laughs> right, so you can get three accounts. So you can choose either 10K account, 20K account or 40K account. Now there is this rule that you cannot get more than 40K. So which means is like you can get two 20K accounts or four 10K accounts. So you can get any account as long as it's within the 40K. If you want to get 10K account, your fee is going to be $260. For 20K account, it's going to be 450. And if you want to go for the biggest account, which is 40K, your fee will be $850. So I personally think the fee is okay if you compare to other prop firms, but this video is not about comparing. It's just I want to let you know about the fees because I think once again, the fee is really important because in that way, the trader can see if this is within my budget or not. So the time limits have changed as well. Now you have more time, you have 12 months to reach your target. Don't get too excited because yes, it used to be six months, but then the target was smaller. Now the target is bigger. You need to reach 10% and please don't freak out. I know so many were disappointed because it used to be 6% and now it's 10%. So, but at the same time, you have more time to reach. Looking at the bigger picture, if you make 1% a month, it's like really, really doable. It is doable to make 1%. So it's just, I think once traders saw that 10%, 12 months, and I know myself how we are. <laughs> the traders are not a patient type of people. We want it fast, we want it now, we want the money right now, we want to see the gains, and we just don't want to wait. Obviously not everyone, but most of the traders who do come into the business, they just think it's going to be a quick game and in a month I'll make 10%, 20, 50, whatever. But so the, the limits are like this, you have 12 months to reach 10% target. And if you just split it, let's say each month you make 1% and then you can take two, two months off within the year. So it is doable and it is definitely something that you could reach if you're a consistent trader. Also, because the targets have been increased, your stop at level is also going to be increased. At, well, not increased, but at least it's gonna stay the same all through all the phases that you're gonna go. Once you scale your account, your stop at level will be the same, which is 6%. So basically it means for you, for those people who will get the new instant funding, your stop at level, your overall drawdown will be 6% on every single account you're going to get because if you're following me now, then my stop at level is 4% because what happened with an old instant funding, you had two phases where you got 6% drawdown and then after, like on the third account, you get 4% drawdown and which is like all the way until you reach that max funding. So there's the new, new rule, which is daily pause. So many people thought this is like a daily limit and um, and I, I can tell you this. So I think it does work almost like a daily drawdown. The thing is when you do reach 3%, your account is not violated. So 
you're not going to lose account. So basically, but what does happen is once you reach 3%, even if your trades are open, even if they're not closed, the trades will automatically close once you have reached 3% exposure on your account. And it's simply because they want to protect you. Now, just think about, let's, let's talk numbers. So you have 6% drawdown and then one day, and one day you decide to risk 50% off your drawdown, which is 3%, right? So half from 6% is three. So you decide to risk with 3% a day. Is that a normal risk? Would you consider that a normal risk? Like, like as an investor, you have, I don't know, $100, let's say, take it easy. And then one day you just decide, oh, this day I feel like I, I want to risk half of it. Is ha risking half a good idea? Well, I don't think so. And as a company, they need to protect their funds. They need to protect their money. And for me, like, it just makes sense. Because if I would... Yeah, if I would have a company, I would also want to protect my money, you know, like I wouldn't want for other people go and just decide, oh, one day I'm just going to try and risk with half what I can risk with. Let's again, just focus on the numbers. And if you have 6% Jordan, it is absolutely crazy to risk with 3% in a day. And what Fivers have backed it up with, with the statistics that if trader goes in 3% loss in a day, very unlikely that he or she will recover that loss. And what do we try to do as a traders? When we lose, we get upset, emotions go really high, and we try and reach back that money. We try to get that money back, and then we start to overtrade. We start to enter the positions that we shouldn't be entering at all. That's not within our trading plan. And obviously, we start to over risk as well. And it just leads to to really bad place. So now you, it's like your protection. The 3% is like protection. So even if you will reach 3% one day, that doesn't mean your account is violated. So next day you can come back and trade again. And obviously if you're not in profit and you again lose 3%, that means your overall drawdown will be reached now. So I think when you have 6% drawdown, you really need to go on a low risk, like trade 0.20%, 0.10 even, maybe 0.30. Just go lower, at least until you build a cushion. Cushion, <laughs> cushion. <laughs> at least until you build a cushion, then, oh my goodness. Can't talk, can't talk. But anyhow, let's move to the next. Another new thing that they have done is they have added bonuses. So basically what's, what's your bonus is for, once you reach the target, you will gain a bonus. And then the bonus that you get, like the money, it's not going to be like a cash that you can withdraw, but you can use that money to buy another account. Let's say another instant funding account, or there's this high stake new program that you can try, or the bootcamp. So you can choose um, if you wish, then you can buy another account. So bonuses are not for you to withdraw, but they are for, for you to get another program. So basically it's like inside purchases. And let's talk my favorite thing ever, which is leverage. Absolutely love leverage. Any topic on leverage is really good. I think because it's like an eye opener because so many traders just don't know how to calculate it. And you know what? A couple of years ago, I didn't know how to calculate leverage as well. So I uh, just want to shout out to Saul, who really, who really <laughs> showed me and opened my eyes um, because he really did help to understand the leverage a bit better. Because I used to be one of those traders who think, oh, one to 10 leverage is so tiny, you know, and um, but yeah, now, now I know that one to 10 is absolutely enough and it's something that can protect the trader. So anyhow, the fibers have increased the leverage. Now you can get up to one to 30. Now, if you are like me and you want to keep your leverage low, then you can reach out to support and tell them, please, could you lower my leverage to one to 10? Because they can definitely do so. They cannot high up your leverage, so you cannot get anything higher than one to 30 um, unless you trade high stakes. But on instant funding, your leverage will be one to 30. But if you wish, you can go and ask them, please lower my leverage to one to 10 or anything um, I really, uh, well, okay, I'm not sure if they can over in any leverage, but I definitely know that you can ask to lower it to one to 10. Now, because you do have higher leverage, I know there will be traders who will get burned because especially if you're used to trade lower leverage, you will be able to open more positions, bigger lot size, and it's just a no-no. <laughs> it's a no-go. Um, and it's, I do believe leverage is there to protect us. And especially if we are emotional, if you are still trading emotionally, if you still catch up yourself, just 
having those one of those days where nothing is working and you just get emotional you start to overtrade and all those things so um definitely maybe then go and ask them to to lower your leverage because one to 30 is a lot that's like three times more right so if you let's just like look at me so if i trade three pairs i can open like three positions when i risk like 0.25 percent okay and now i can risk three times more three times more and I'm just going to leave you there three times more. That's it. <laughs> so imagine now if you lose money, if you lose a hundred, you can lose three times more. Let's protect ourselves. Um, let's make sure that we are not over trading. And especially if there is the leverage, if there is this margin available, let's just use our brains, follow the, follow the plan, follow the risk and, um, and use proper risk. Now, everybody wants a bigger profit split, right? Since the instant funding has been here, it's always have been 50 for the company, 50 for the trader. It's always been 50-50 split. So now this time, traders, traders, the fibers, the fibers has increased the profit split. And you can see it in the scaling plan, which is really simple. Once you reach 10% target, your account will double. You will scale your account. And um, I think it's really simple and it's really easy trading plan. It's um, not the trading plan, the scaling plan. I really need to hurry up with this video because I'm making so many mistakes. <laughs> Anyhow, so the scaling plan is super easy to understand. I think you can scale up to 4 million and um, it is just up to you if you want to start with smaller accounts or bigger accounts. Because um, obviously, I think when you start with bigger accounts, it's easier to go to 4 million because um, you need to scale it like less times. But anyhow, that's just my thoughts. But this is the scaling plan. I do like it. I think it's a really good plan. And it's definitely, um, and I think I've said it before, the fibers are really good at scaling. Like they really try and give the traders the best opportunity for scaling. So, and there you go, you can scale up to 4 million. And I think that's it really. I spoke about everything. I'm going to quickly go through my list, but I do believe I spoke about everything. Um, and so the fees, the time limit, the leverage, the stop out level, daily pause, which is not a daily drawdown and um, profit split increase and um, the scaling plan. Let me know if you have any questions at all. The next video I'm going to do is going to be an update on my account. So let me know if you still want to follow me the old instant funding that I'm trading, or you would like me to get like a new account and then I can share the new account progress. Just let me know what you want me to do. Anyhow, take care, use proper risk management, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.